Hey guys, another Saturday morning, another customer car leaving. Greg's turbo uh, Fox body Mustang. So we're gonna walk you around it and just show you what all we did. We'll start at the rear. The floor pans were already fit pretty much. Just had to add some these fasteners. The quick release. These are actually on the top because we had to put it on a shelf on the bottom. Transmission pan the same way. The driver pan we welded in because that's what you're supposed to do per SFI. We mounted a this is a, a brake shut, or not a brake, but a battery shut off, kill switch lever. We also uh, put a shifter stub. He's gonna be running the precision shifter. They have a little nice billet piece that goes down in a one inch tube. We also closed these in. This is where the front kit was already done, where it comes in and ties to the cage. He wanted this box back in where it had been trimmed out to access the bar. So we done that on both sides. He brought us the car with the mock-up engine already in it. These are actually some headers that we sold another customer, one of his best friends, years ago. They're the Cook's Downswip Universal Turbo Headers. I think they're one and three quarter by two and a half is what these are. So he's just reusing them on this car. The intake is a 417 Motorsports version of the Holly uh, Low Ram, I think they call it. It's been machined for 16 injectors. We welded a nice uh, race part solutions dual seal connectors on the throttle body. Got four inch tube going up to the throttle body, tile blow off valve to match the tile waste gates that he already had. We just got the flanges for them. All stainless hot side as usual. Streetcar fabrication, billet turbo flange, Maven mount that was already on the setup whenever it come here for this turbo. This is a Garrett 94. This will be a no time car. It's gonna weigh nothing, be pretty fast. We got four and a half inch down pipes. Did a crazy little split out of the back of the turbo. So we can get the clearance. There's just not much clearance between the turbo and the engine. Made some little hangers here. They're kind of loose now. I just put them on there for the ride home. They got an enclosed trailer. But anytime you have pipes coming out this long, you need to have something to absorb some of the vibration out here because over time you risk it breaking off at the flange, especially when the aluminum gets hot. The aluminum will take the heat. You just, anytime you put a lot of stress on it, a lot of bouncing and vibrating, the aluminum just don't like it. Tips, they're removable. Change the angle if you wanted to. We made some nice tanks for this car, but they're not back from anodizing, and this is the only day that they can come get the car. We're gonna be racing for the next couple weekends, so I just told them I would ship them the tank, but got a nice fuel tank that goes here. It's about four gallons, and we've got a vent tank that goes here.
that's the get it out here vent tank's got a double filter on it i'll show you those pictures of those tanks right here okay so they're anodizing and the fuel rails are also anodizing there was a slight delay with those guys this week they're usually really really fast but they run into some issues and we weren't able to get the tanks back in time to go with the car so we're just going to ship them the tanks that's pretty much all we did with greg's we appreciate him considering us for business most of all of our customers come from out of state and that's kind of humbling that they travel around to get my coffee here okay we'll look at some other projects while we got you on here this is the anders brothers from virginia they sold this car or this started out as tick performance car the original one we built the front end kit the first f body front end kit for used it for the design you'll see it on the website they bought it from Jonathan, raced it, then sold it. Now they bought it back. And it had a Borg Warner turbo on it, but they bought the Pro Mod 88 off the Grub Worm. So they brought it up here to get the cold side modified. The down pipe over there has got to have the flange changed. We put a different Maven mount on it. Had to trim a little bit of stuff, change some brackets, but we got it fit in there. Another project that's kind of odd for us, but we have an Audi RS6 over here with the engine hanging out of it and transmission. So this car comes out of Maryland these customers have been looking around for a couple of years for a shop to do this job. And I've actually been talking to Derek for the past probably year since we put him on our waiting list. And, you know, we just keep in touch about details, talk on the phone you know, numerous times. But we are going to be upgrading the turbo system on this and doing custom intercoolers, various things. You can see the turbo set in the back from the factory. This has got a twin turbo V8 from the factory. I think the OEM rating is around 440 horsepower and we're trying to see around 1100 out of this setup whenever it's all said and done. But to their knowledge and their research over the past three or four years they have not found anyone who has converted it to manual transmission which they have done here and they've not found anybody that has upgraded the excuse me coffee's getting to me the turbo system extensively so we're gonna basically leave it factory but cram some garrets in there of some type Redo the intercooler with some big, nice bell intercoolers, but incorporate a lot of the factory piping where everything fits just like it did OEM. We're gonna build some header flat or some headers for it to try to clean up that area a little bit, make it a little bit more low profile. But every once in a while, I like exploring new territory because it kind of gets us out of our comfort zone forces you to learn how to adapt to new applications and stuff. The car is nice. It don't have but like 43 or 45,000 miles on it. All wheel drive. Should be a fun piece. Burkhart's car finally started working on the turbo system on it. Got the turbo mounted yesterday.
wanted to push it further to the front, but we got the hood to deal with. That's about as high as it could go and as forward as it could go without hitting the hood. Streetcar fabrication flange, and we have the Parker Speed turbo mount, which I've not got it welded all the way, but a lot of these guys change turbos about like they change underwear. So we wanted to make something universal where they could swap turbos around since that's common for uh, the tick boys without having to change the Maven mount every time. Because this turbo is not a Pro Mod style. It's the 8891 that was originally on Grub Worm. So if they go to a Pro Mod style turbo, they'll have to change the Maven mount. So let's go back over here to Rusty's, the car that has made its home here since last, last year sometime. <laughs> Gotta raise it up because we finally got the exhaust done on it. We don't have any hangers on the exhaust yet. Joey's drew up some really trick laser cut pieces that we're going to integrate with hangers and different things. But I just want to show you what we got so far as far as the layout. He wanted the tips just like the Cook's tips that were on the car. We also put this carbon piece on here that he sent down. I'll be the first to tell you that we do not do body work or do really anything like this, but he already had sent this stuff down, so we told him that we'd put it on for him. But the tips, he wanted to mimic the Cook's tips that he had. So we sourced those out, and we actually got a larger inlet. Like his tips had two and a half inlets in the back, these have three. So this is a three and a half inch exhaust system all the way out and then it splits to twin three inch, stepping back up to three and a half inch tips. But it turned out really, really good. See, we had to get a little funky going around the rear end. Some nice heavy duty flex bellows here. Got our quote unquote catalytic converters there. O2 bungs on both sides. Just for visual, of course. It tucks in there like factory exhaust. couldn't be absolutely symmetrical around this rear because obviously it's offset to one side but we wanted to be symmetrical when it got to here where you viewed it from the rear so we did that we're gonna have a nice piece across here that's adjustable for the hangers and then we're going to tie the pipes together in the middle in two different points all the way up to the front. That way the system will be easy to install, easy to line up. And most of all, it won't rattle. Right now we got his AC condenser is at Fluidine. And they are 
fitting it to a custom radiator that we designed for this car to open up some more room in the front plus it'll look a lot nicer than the stock unit so whenever we get that back then it'll be full steam ahead finishing the turbo system starting on the fuel system then getting the car wired and so on we've got the shop car here i'm going to put a little bit of time in it today got our head gaskets i'm going to go ahead and just set them on there for mock-up Make sure our spacing is correct. So that's what we do on Saturdays. Little walk around, little shop car work. So tune in next time.